Hey everyone, welcome back to another Exos Heroes video. Today we're going to be talking about artifacts. So, what are you know the best artifacts out there? Um, what, uh, which ones should you invest in? And without further ado, let's jump into it. So, you can see the journal here for the artifacts. Um, in the journal, <laughs> of course. And um, these are the list of possible artifacts that you may be acquiring or you can acquire. Okay, so we'll start first with the rare, which is the teal colored here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna point out um, artifacts that um, are basically useful um, in relation to their rarity. Um, rare are I think the bottom um, part of the artifact um, tier in which I think you should use because. Again, they're easy to enhance, a lot of copies, and yet sometimes they provide you with value, especially if you don't want to recruit um, or to summon for um, artifacts at this point. You can actually use some of them. So we start with the... Uh, where's the monkey? So Swift Golden Monkey. Again, for rare artifacts, the best ones are going to have a fixed, um, good, uh, a fixed bonus not on a certain percentage like for example this one 15 percent chance to affect to, uh, to affect to afflict sleep is actually very low so and, and it's only for three turns so again this might not trigger most of the time so i would rather you invest in in the rare ones that give you fixed bonuses like this one swift uh, golden monkey is a plus uh, dodge of 10 percent um, for the Sweetie Cat, it's going to be increase of own defense by 10%. So dodge and defense. Then your next is... Uh, where's Wily? Righteous Wily. Here you are. Righteous Wily is an increase in 10. So all of these, actually, I'm, I'm actually um, um, pointing out that these are worth investing on for the rare uh, category. So re re resonating uh, pen pensher, so heals fifty percent when own health fail falls to twenty percent or below. So again, a good at uh, rare value. Next is uh, origin of foundation. So again, a good one. This is actually similar to this one, but the stat dif the the stat bonuses are just different. Okay, next is going to be Mister Frank. So, decreases damage received on self by 30% at the start of the battle. This is actually good for those who are very squishy uh, that, that you need to protect. So, this can be uh, attached to that specific hero. Then, why can't I go up? Okay. So, Mr. Frank is here. Next would be Fire Breathing Goonster. This one I like. So reflects 50% of damage received on self for three turns when own health falls to 30 or below. So this is actually good as well. Very, I think a very good value for your rare. So Disciple of Darkness is also good. Increases own attack speed by 12 for three turns at the start of the battle. This is particularly good in PvP, especially if you wanna if you want to have certain debuffs applied. So this is going to be good. Next is going to be Dimension Leaper. Increase on effect hit by 70% at the start of the battle. So again, if you want to um, increase your hit, this is going to be good. Then the last is going to be... Not that one, not that one. This one. Blizzard Blizzard. <laughs> what a unique name. 50% chance to counter upon receiving damage. So that 50% is actually good, especially for a rare artifact. So um, we're done with the rare. Let's move on to legendary. So we have a soft glowing tektite. Good, very good for legendary. 70 chance to double team when ally attacks. So double team it means is all of you all of you attack a specific hero. So all of you, so one at a time. <laughs> so this is actually very good at 70% chance. 
Next is going to be Sad Concerto Breden. 50% chance uh, to afflict attacker with silence for 5 turns upon receiving damage. This is good actually for heroes that have provoke. <laughs> this is very good. 50%. Imagine that. Let's say all 5 are provoked. Then... then um, at 50%, roughly half of that would trigger either two or three will have silence. This is actually nice. So next is going to be Republic Defender. Nickel. Grants a bar equal to 30% of own maximum health to an ally with highest attack at the start of the battle. Very good as well. Um, next is going to be Relentless. Relentless Series. Here you go. 80% chance to counter the attacker when ally receives damage. This is also good. So 80% chance. So this is like the skill of, uh, I think, Rhinor. So counter uh, when an ally receives damage. Next is uh, Relentless Series. Red-Haired Lotus. Okay, Red-Haired Lotus. Decrease damage received on self by 15%. So every time you receive damage, decreases by 15%. Master of Dodge Ferris. This is actually what I like. This is not Ferris. It's Ferric. So increase attack by 30% for every successful dodge. I'm thinking I'm going to put this with Jin. So he's going to do more damage while uh, after he's dodging. Next is going to be Iron Bullet Gunner. Big Run grants a barrier equal to 10% of own health to all allies at the start of battle. So again, very good value for Legendary. Next is going to be Guardian of Balance. Blink it. Correct. Uh, increases own attack speed by 13 when ally receives damage. Also a good one, guys. Next is going to be Explosive Hitter. Patrash. Heals 10% of own maximum health at the start of own turn. So every turn, you actually heal 10% of your own health. Especially, this is good, especially if your health is actually big, um, big HP. Then 10% of that will be healing every turn. Then the last is going to be Confident Assassin Way. 50% chance to afflict a random debuff. To target for three turns. So again, 50% is actually good. Um, either of the debuffs is also good. So again, the ones that I've, that I've discussed so far are the good ones. Um, for you guys uh, missing, you know, if if you don't want to, what they call this, if you um, don't want to miss any of the artifacts that I recommended, I'll put um, a list in the um, comment section, I'll pin it as a so that you could reference all of the artifacts that I mentioned. Then let's go to Fated. So basically for Fated and Mythic, all are good except two for each. So for Fated, the ones that are not good is... Uh, Fated is this one, the gold one. Um, it's going to be this one. This is not good. Okay, this is not good. So, 20% chance to purge a random buff when basic attacking. So, it's only 20% and only for basic attack. So, this is not a good artifact on my, you know, as my opinion. Next is going to be Civilization Under... Under... Sorry, C Civilization Rejector. Assemble. There you go. So 20% 20 20 chance to afflict enemy with silence when attacking. It's a, it's a very low percentage at 20%. Um, there are better, you know, there are better artifacts than this. So again, these are the only two that are, I'm, I'm not recommending that, that you use. The rest is actually good. So we're going to just go over it. So Worshipper of Dead Uno, you have here, um, increase hit. By 20% at the start of own battle, 70% to increase own attack by 30%. That's good. Grant share health to allies to uh, to transfer 30% of the damage received to self. Also good. Storm splitting Rudy. So increase attack by 30% for 10 turns and also has a heal. 
Very, very good. Righteous Mercy Olivia decreases damage received by all allies besides self by 20% when alive. Very good as well. Um, Guide of Guard Veils Mon Ryu. So this is also good as it gives a um, heal over time to an ally. Next is going to be 100% chance to transfer a debuff. This is actually good. So you get to select who to transfer when you attack an enemy. Uh, Dark Silhouette re 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 Revel. Increases on attack by 20%. 100% chance to grant a barrier equal to 10% of own maximum health. Also very good. And the last one for your fated is going to be Church Purity Helena. Okay, so 100% chance to cleanse the buff from one ally at the start of own turn. Again, very, very good. So only two here are not good again. Just want to repeat Struggling Abyss, Carbon, and your Civilization Rejector Assemble. Okay, do not, you know, do not develop these. Okay, our last category will be Mythic. So for Mythic, you also have two here that are not good. Um, we'll, we'll go through the not good first. So Veteran Blade Mars. So 30% chance to reset own turn upon defeating an enemy. The qualifiers here are very tough. It's only 30% and it requires defeating an enemy. So it's not good for its rarity. It should be, it should be lower. Then um, Life Balance or Death Vigilance VV. This one is not good as well. 30% chance to destroy a random Guardian Stone from target when an enemy basic attacks. What if the enemy doesn't do a basic attack? Okay, so again, the both are not good for Veteran Blade, Mars, and Life or Death Vigilance VV. I'll discuss the rest that are good. So we have here Vicious Gale, Gear, uh, Grius, oh, increase on critical hit rate by 20% and critical damage. Again, very good. Next of the good is going to be Living Melody by Beryong. 50% chance to reset a turn for random ally upon receiving damage. This is actually very good. Next is going to be um, Honest Assassin, Mach Macha. 100% chance to grant stealth to self at the start of the battle, which is good. This one we got for free because um, of a uh, compensation. 100% chance to grant one mana to ally with the highest attack at the start of battle, which is very good. Um, this one is going to be 100% chance to revive. This is Enchanted Sword Dance Lovely. Then next is going to be Easygoing Prince Nidlia. 100% chance to grant tranquility. This is actually the passive of battery. So you can actually have multiple batteries in your lineup. And the last one is Cold Blooded Vanguard Kanev. 100% chance to increase own damage by 20%, defeating an enemy stacks up to three times. Okay. Take note, guys. If you may if you see that this is um, very high at 100 percent chance, it's because that it is at level 11. Okay. You have to level them up first. So again, this requires investment um, copies of the same, um, the same uh, artifacts. So again, don't be fooled by the percentage. Why is it high? It's because these are at level 11. Obviously, if you have them at level 1, they're at lower chance. Like for example, this at 100%, it would be lower as you, as you start it at level 1. So let's take a look at, I did actually do a 19 summon for artifact and let's see what I got. So as you can see here, guys, um, the percentages are again, lower. So 30% chance. So you have to enhance your artifacts to increase a certain, certain percentage. Um, enhancing is actually very important. Um, enhancing actually it doesn't require copy sorry um enhancing requires you to this one this currency and this one and copies as well the one that i mentioned that re that that requires you copies is going to be your let me just go back there the ones that you're gonna require copies is going to be promote 
promote is like your transcend same copies of the same artifact okay so that's it guys <laughs> sorry so that is it guys so thank you very much um i'll be having a q and a later um hope you guys join that one and um, you can actually ask more questions about artifacts if you are still confused on what to bring, how to level up, and everything about the all-new Exos heroes. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this far in this video. So please uh, consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell icon because I'll be creating a lot more Exos heroes videos moving forward because of the new update. And also, guys, don't forget to like this video. Thank you very much. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.